is dreams. This is dreams come true. Well, boys, you ready to go to work today? Yeah. Yep. So we are headed over to the tank field to move the winter squash to help preserve it for the winter. We got to move it into the barn. And uh, so before we get started, George, you going to have a prayer? Yep. Good morning, Father. Thank you for this day. Bless you. Have a good day today. Bless you. Have a safe trip to the barn. And bless that. We're going to move the squash to get in the Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So we are going to head over and move some squash. Uh, so come along with us today as we go to do that. And it's going to be fun. Well, I am glad I am not afraid of snakes. I opened up this uh, door to where we have our water tank. And this guy was sitting right inside there. Big old beautiful uh blow snake gopher snake we call them bull snakes around here and uh anyways he's big and beautiful he's really shiny clean he just like he like he shed but very mellow snake very nice one we got to see how long he is huh well today's going to be a busy day we'll be moving the squash in from the field the winter squash into the barn over here and um that's that's so we can preserve it so it'll last through the through the winter and, it, and we need to protect it from frost. If it freezes too hard, the stuff will be ruined. So we're going to be putting it in here where we can wrap it up and kind of keep it because we'd like to sell it for the next couple of months as a, as a squash. So the boys are already you can see they're getting ready in there to 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 make it because uh, they got to clean it up a little bit, move stuff around. So we'll be using a tractor to haul the squash from down way down there in to here so stay tuned and uh, you will see how we store our winter squash and how we get it ready for this winter so the two types of squash that we're bringing in here will be winter uh, spaghetti squash and butternut and they taste great so stay tuned so this will be the space that we put them into we've had to clean it out they're moving some uh those totes, those totes are 250 pounds a piece, a tub lick. So <laughs> there's a lot of weight right there. And uh, hey guys, come pick this up, Johnny. We got a nail puller there. The other thing too is we have got to get the pipe in here. So um, I want you guys to start bringing in that. Uh, we need to get a ladder and stuff and get that two inch pipe up there. We're going to be running another line out for drip irrigation for to be able to um, to do some drip tape uh, irrigation out there for next year. We're going to probably try to do six acres of, of uh, crop. So that'll be a good thing. So we got to get this pipe moved inside. Why don't you guys just grab armfuls of it together? It'll be the best. So Johnny, you guys go get a ladder. Go get that eight foot ladder, you and George, so that you can uh, put it up. And I am going to go fill up this tank full of water and water some goats while they get this stuff ready. So, anyways, busy day, a lot to do, but winter's coming on and we need to protect our squash and our stuff. That pipe needs to be good. This is two inch pipe, 20 foot lengths. And uh, so we're going to need to just, can you guys get it all the way up there? Or? Curtis, if, if Z lowers his end and you walk all the way down this way, you may be able to stick it up there. There you go. Maybe better just get some... Uh, just reach, grab a hold of it right there. Grab a hold of all that right there. Start pushing. There you go. There you go. That's the way you do it. Those aren't real heavy. They're just kind of awkward. So I'd probably get something to stand on. Let's move this. Uh, let's move this stuff right here. So we can get to the edge of it and we can take that 
that plywood and whatnot and let's stack it up along that open bay right there okay. that way it'll help protect stuff too so well, the boys got this under control they're gonna get the rest of this pipe put up and um, anyways I'm gonna go fill up with water the ladder down there so they can use it if they need to all right boys brought the ladder you guys will get in the rhythm here shortly okay So as you can see, I got the water going. That'll, we'll go water the goats with that. And as I come over here to open up these boxes, we have a real problem with mice around here. You can see I had to, I got three of mice out of these boxes right here. So we're always, we're always, uh, we're always battling mice around here. Coyotes eat our cats and uh, owls eat the cats. So we have trouble keeping cats. So. I'm only going to fill it up about uh, probably halfway because that's about as much water as those uh, goats troughs over there will take. So this pipe comes out of the ground and it's going to start freezing here pretty soon. So I got to get the water out of that and I'll show you how I do that. It's a pretty, uh, pretty cool way, I think, of how we get the water out of there. So I take this piece of pipe and I put it down in there. Like that, then I cover the end and I pull it out and drain the water out. That doesn't work as well. So that's how we pull the water out of there so that it won't freeze up. So did you guys get all that pipe? Yeah. You guys are awesome. These guys are awesome. So they got all the pipe put up in the barn. That way it'll last. We'll be out of the weather. So that is perfect. All right, George, Johnny, guess what you guys get to do again? Guess. Guess what you get to do again? What do you think? Turn around and look towards the pipe. What do you think you get to do again? Um, you have to take the ladder back. Yeah, you got to take the ladder back. All right, let's go see how you guys do that. So we had I had them go get that ladder. And uh, Well, I don't know, I think that wants to stay up there, Z, does it? All right, George, Johnny, haul that ladder back. It's called the ladder ladder train. There you go. Choo choo. Hey, what's this mean? Choo choo. Honk the horn. Ha, ha. All right, they're going to haul it back over the house. So, so we got to remember to turn the fuel on. What happens if you don't turn the fuel on, Curtis? It dies and it's hard to get Max started. Yeah, who uh, who did that last? Uh, you, I think. Me. Yep. Tractor sitting there running for about five minutes and then just dies. Not a good thing. Mm -mm. This is a tractor we don't need a key to start. Yep. There she 
goes. get the winter squash put up for the winter storage so we can keep it from freezing and uh, so come along with us I love this land so fine covered with oak and pine the canyons roll away and it's here I Turkeys scratch the ground Peace and quiet here abound I love this land so fine Covered with oak and pine Trees, the wind aside, making clouds go swiftly by. The sun will be setting soon, and then a silver moon. Maybe I'll come in that side. Oh, wild coyote is how I can hear him. This land so fine, covered with oak and pine. Mm -hmm. The years will all go by. Someday I'll surely die and lay these bones to rest. In the place I love the best Where the red tails soar so high In a pale blue sky I love this land so fine Covered with oak and pine Here comes my dad with the winter squash. I'm gonna go put it back in the barn for storage. And let's see how it does. And I gotta be careful over these bumps. Might break out the bottom. Gotta put a pallet under this one because the bottom is breaking out a little bit. Myra's gonna do that. Got three of them. Trying to get the leg 
and go back straight. squash in the barn so I'm gonna store it through the winter in here if we can because we can't find someone to sell right now so this is where they're gonna be for a while One down, not sure how many more to go. So I'm going to go water the goats, and you two are going to go haul some of this back and forth. So just put them on pallets, you know, especially the ones that are uh, low, put them on pallets, okay? Okay. Well, that's how we water the goats. That's our newest goat. We just got her. She's about a two-year-old. I don't even know what she is. So, if you guys know what she is, what kind of goat she'd be, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Well, finished uh, watering the goats and stuff. Now I'm going to unload, put the tank up, and go help the boys finish up their stuff. So I got that unloaded and put away. So now let's go check on the boys. Oh, it's going to start raining here soon. Clouds coming in. Love the rain. Boys have been busy. They got four of each bin in here, which is awesome. Man, this looks good in here. <laughs> you realize uh, what that means, right? What does all this mean? That's like cash. That's a cash crop. That's money in the bank right here. This stuff should last for months in here, as long as we can keep it from freezing. We'll get some blankets and stuff and we'll cover it up or maybe shut this down a little bit and put a heater in here for, you know, on the real cold nights. It'll be fine. Maybe we'll tarp it, you know. Looks good. How many more boxes? I think we got two more spaghetti and one more butternut. Okay. And then we have all that miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, miscellaneous we'll throw in a bin and we'll be feeding it to the, the goats and stuff though so you guys are doing awesome cool all right i will uh head down that direction because i'm going to load up a, is there more to load up down there um, i think they have all the good stuff loaded up but they just have to put the kind of miscellaneous stuff in in a bin okay awesome i think most of the miscellaneous stuff is just ones without stems I think, okay so. Well, those, we can harvest seed out of those and also feed them to the goats. <coughs> Looking good. All right, guys, I'll meet you down there. Oh, I'm real excited. This is awesome. This is a, a great cash crop for us. And uh, this is dreams. This is dreams come true. Many years that we dreamed to uh, be able to harvest a cash crop off the place here. And we're finally figuring it out to get it done. So, anyways, it's been awesome.